All right. What is special about the community drag creates for LGBTQA plus people? Not all of them even want that drag community. There are a lot of folks that are offended that that represents me. Oh, please tell me more. I wish I could understand it and tell you more, but I I don't really. When we first started, the worst blowback we got, the people who are the most critical of drag shows were cis gay men because they didn't want to be represented by that. They're men who willingly give up power. You know, drag, you can access a part of yourself that you normally don't present. But isn't it scary for people to explore parts because you never know what you're going to feel or discover? There's the rub. Hmm. Being who you are and loving each other, you have inspired others to love themselves and accept themselves and probably a whole community to just get over themselves in a way. I wish that were truly the case. (laughs) <laughs> what do you well, what do you think the case is? I know that we have helped a lot of people get in touch with themselves or be more accepting of, of differences than they otherwise would be, but it's still Moscow and there's still a bit of resistance. You know, when Trump won, I was ready to sell everything and just head for the hills. It's like we'll close the store. I'm done. I can't do this any longer. And usually I'm the one who's the cheerleader going, go, go, no, we have to keep fighting. And at that point, Tabitha said, No, we have to continue to hold space. It's even more important. It's vitally important for these kids that we remain here. Tabitha, why did you think about them and not yourself? So many of them over the years have thought of us as the mom they wanted to have, that it's it's made an impression. There, There are a lot of those kids that were not in good places, and sometimes all they needed to see was that we were here and living normal lives, doing everyday things, uh, fighting, coming back together, grocery shopping, all of that. They needed to see that it was possible for them. And so, yeah, it, it, was, it was just that we needed to be there and we needed to continue making that space for them to be themselves and be seen and accepted As long as they were willing to be respectful of everyone else that was there, doesn't matter who they are. Yeah. Um, The both of you are known for being the first same-sex couple legally wed in Idaho. That's quite a medallion. Does that ever get in the way of your personal life? Just for that first weekend when everybody... It was a holiday weekend. It was a slow news week. There were no insurrections, no... (laughs) Uh, no bombings, uh, nothing of note except our marriage license in one of the reddest states in the country. 